Hello guys, today I would like to show you a tips on our when doing animation on any sprite or UI element by using the one of the animation principle which is the squash and stretch. This principle is actually will improve our animation a lot by making more interactive to our player. So if you guys no idea, have no any idea about the squash and stretch. You can do some Google. Basically, it will we will just apply some skill to change the shape of the object when we doing the animation, so that our animation will be more lifeful and flexible. So now, let's go back to our Unity. I will show you how to implement this principle on some UI element. As you can see, I have prepared a button sprite and a menu sprite over here. So let's pull the menu sprite over. Uh, okay, cool. The first thing we need to do is to add the animator component. Then we need to create a controller for it. So let's create a new folder. We will call this animation. Basically, this folder will store every animation controller and also the animation clip. So, create a new controller. So, we will call this menu controller. Cool. Let's add it to our menu sprite. So, now we are ready to create any animation clip on the animation tab. So let's create an animation. Click the create. Mm. Okay. I think, wait, let me create a folder for it. So let's right click a new folder. We will call it menu. Then place the controller over, create a new clip. Then select a menu folder, we will call this show will do. Save. So basically, we will create an animation which will show the menu when the user want to show it. So on the first second, it should be some position of the screen. Then after a half a second will do, then we will place it back to the center. So now let me remove the loop from the animation clip. So let me test it. Cool. As you can see, you can see a plain animation which moves the menu from top to the center. So now we will improve this animation by adding the principle to it. So let's go back to our um, animation clip. We will skew it. We will try to stretch the X by reducing to uh, 0.5 means that when the menu moving downward we will we are make it looks like more longer than usual so after when it reach the center we will set it to flat than usual so um, cool it should be wait wait let me set to original first then we try to make it fatter than usual then it will restore after certain time now as you can see when we the menu is sliding down we will try to stretch the y axis to be longer 
until it hit the target position then we try to stretch on the x position longer than back to the original size after certain time so now let's test it on our editor so now as you can see the menu is more looks like a lifeful object which has the bouncy feel compared to the just now the plain one this looks much more nicer okay cool now let's look on another example which well showing a button so let me create a button so let me move to the center and uh, adjust to the middle set the sprite resize then remove the text cool now we need to add the animator component now we need to create a new folder for this button so we are call this button we will do create a new controller for it so call this button controller cool add it to our button now we can create a clip for it so let's we create an animation clip we will call show as well so mm, this button it should be high hiding at the first second so we set the scale to zero then we will after half second we show it by scale it to from zero to bigger so you are show yep yeah, uh, let me remove the loop from the button so now okay let me hide uh, let me hide the menu first so that it doesn't distract our focus okay this is how our plane animation looks like so let's make it faster a little bit cool now we will try to improve this animation by adding some extra step so go to your animation click we will mm, skill it to actually bigger than usual let's say 1.2 on x and y axis then after certain of time only will turn to the normal size of the scale so as you can see now our button is more looks more nicer compared to just now it says more uh, uh, i mean it's it's look like looks like want to more interact with the player since more bouncy this principle is actually you can implement on any of your animation whether it's on your sprite animation or any of the ui element now let me check the menu as you can see button well doing fine mm, so basically we implement these tips actually by stretching it on it moving direction i mean stretch it longer than you than normal size by whether it's moving on x or y if moving on the x direction then we scale the x become longer if moving on y like the menu just now we will scale it on the y axis until the object is reached its target position then we squash it on another axis so for static button we can just play around the skill on the x and y whether the skill is bigger or skill smaller than the usual side then return it normal after a certain time mm, cool i think that's it for this tutorial i hope this tutorial helps you if it did please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel 
see you in the next video